thing we have to unfortunately deal with here across the state is our drought conditions. Now keep in mind we've been in some form of drought here since the middle of 2020. The drought has kind of fluctuated and shifted intensity. But as we look at the last couple of weeks here, we've really started to see that drought really become more widespread here over the state. And that's due to the dryness that we've seen over the last part of the spring here. You can see this week an expansion of that moderate to severe drought here across much of central Iowa. And you know, this is the wettest time of year and some parts of the state have seen less than 10% of their normal rain within the last 30 days, around 50% here in the metro. So we could certainly use a little bit more. And uh, thankfully, we do have a couple of opportunities on the way here this weekend. Nothing out there right now except the wildfire smoke and haze. As you can see from Marshalltown, the Creston, those milky skies there uh, due to all that smoke and haze remaining over the state. And we'll have to deal with that through the remainder of this afternoon and this evening. Our winds will generally be light out of the east. And with that smoke and haze in place, that will also keep our temperatures down as well. Only 82 this afternoon uh, compared to the 90 that we saw yesterday. Air quality alert remains in effect for roughly the eastern one half to one third of the state through 10 p.m. And again, that's for that smoke that could mix down to the surface, causing air quality issues. Take a look at the smoke forecast here. You can see it really festering here, roughly over that middle one third to the eastern half of the state from Algona down toward Fort Dodge, the eastern half of the Des Moines metro area, and then even extending in the southeast Iowa. And that's going to remain the case as we head into this evening and overnight. But you'll note we start to get a little bit stronger of a westerly flow in here tomorrow, and that will help to start to mix out the smoke. And that's, in, and that's associated with our next storm system that we're watching right now. You can see this is it right here over parts of Colorado and Wyoming that will push off to the east as we get into the day tomorrow, bringing in our next chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. No activity though for tonight and into tomorrow, at least here locally. We'll see more clouds, maybe an isolated shower out near the Missouri River Valley, but then as that front and that upper level disturbance moves closer during the peak heating time, we'll start to see numerous showers and thunderstorms develop over our western counties, especially during the early part of the afternoon. That system gets closer to the I-35 corridor by mid to late afternoon, early evening. You can see by 6 p.m. tomorrow, some of these thunderstorms developing here locally. We could see some downburst winds, maybe a little bit of small hail and locally heavy rain with that. And then those thunderstorms progress off to the east, weakening with time during the evening and overnight hours. Sunday morning, we could also see additional scattered showers and thunderstorms over the central and eastern portions of the state. But ultimately, as this system begins to die out, that will set us back up for yet another hot week ahead as we move into next week. 83 is your forecast high today. Smoke and haze will be less hot than what we've seen the last couple of days. And then overnight, we're temperatures dropping back down to near 60. Smoke and haze with increasing clouds. Here's your eight day forecast. Again, we'll be up to 86 tomorrow ahead of that chance for showers and thunderstorms. We may start the day with a little bit of smoke and haze before the storms. A few lingering storms likely for Father's Day, a high of 83. And then behind that system, we enter another long and hot stretch there with temperatures warming back to the upper 80s and then low 90s for several days moving into next week.